Hallelujah. The Lord is powerful. You don't know it. He knows just what you need today. He knows just what you need. Even before you ask him, he knows exactly what you need. There's someone standing here today who need a touch from God. You're going to receive that text today. Somebody need a miracle here today. I declare it is coming to your house. So I need a break in here today. I decree and declare it's coming to your house today. And I'm able to give you believe to clap those hands in advance. It's coming to my house. It's coming right where you are today. Let us all approach the throne of grace. Let us all say a prayer to Jesus. Father, in the name of your Son, that name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. Every tongue shall confess that you alone are Lord God. Father, there's someone standing here today. Someone might be watching today. They need a touch from you, Lord. Somebody said they need to be healed. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We only ask you today because we know that you are able. Oh, hallelujah. You're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask of you. Oh, God, there's somebody here today. Lord, they need a touch from you. Don't let them leave here the same way that they came in. Oh, God, after being in your presence, let the water out of here change and renew with the fresh anointing, Lord. Oh, God, let that life change for the better. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, and anoint your fresh word today, Lord. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, fill this house with your presence, Lord. Let us feel your move of your power today. Oh God, don't let us come to fall in fashion. Oh God, let us feel your power and a touch from you. Oh God, we declare and decree a miracle in this house today. And we shall give your name glory and praise and honor. For you bring good to us, Jesus. Oh God, you bring good to us, Lord. Oh God, to walk us up this morning. Lord, us here for another day. To give the name praise and glory. And while we're here, we're going to tell you thank you. While we are here, we want to tell you thank you. Thank you for your goodness and thank you for your mercy and thank you for your grace. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, be thou glorified in this house today. We say thank you, Jesus, and we share with the praise. We clap our hands in advance and thank you in advance for filling this house in the name of Jesus. If you believe that the Lord has heard your prayer, can you clap those hands all over the building all the time? That God has indeed heard your prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will come to scripture for this morning, Psalms 33, verses 1 through 8. And we should all commence reading together. Rejoice in the Lord. O ye righteous, for praise is company for the upright. Praise the Lord with heart, sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea together as a home, and laying up the deck in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, and all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. 
Michelangelo painted picture. If you can't be a pine on the top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be the best little scrub on the side of the reel. shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We are honored to have our bishop in the house. We've got a praise for our pastor, the honor of Bishop King Judah, who will deliver unto us the word of the Lord. Before he comes, I was upon a selection, followed by the word of God.
grateful. I'm grateful. Grateful. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you today. Our hearts are grateful. Because you've been good to us. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your divine grace. Thank you for being there for us. We thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for your mercy. In the name of Jesus. I love you, sit me here. Church be saved. Bring a miracle in this house today. Anoint us, O God, for your divine service, for your divine will. Do it now, Lord. Do it. Let me say that we are grateful. And to this wonderful name, shout hallelujah.
to tell God how to do what he do. Well, uh, he counsels all things after his own will. Pray, Lord, you can't tell God that's enough. Pray, Lord, don't sin no more. Pray, Lord, God ought to keep doing what God does. Pray, Lord, I'm going to preach that one day. God does what God does. Get on the gospel tree. I'm telling you that one tree, if you 
didn't want to call it a dream. But there's one way to help. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. If any man will come to the Father, you got to come by me. Stop trying to go around. Stop trying to exit out the wrong door. Well, come to the right door and leave the right door. To try to get around God. You can't get around God. Sing that song, you're too high. You can't go around. Too high, you can't get over. Too low, you can't get under. You gotta come by the door. Yes, sir. Lord said, if you come up any other way, you come at the thief and the rock. And you know no thief and no liar. I'm going to make it in the glory. Help me if I want to sanctify church. Hallelujah. I want to sanctify church. We want a Holy Ghost church. We want a spirit-filled church. We want a church that got power. Praise the Lord over the works of the devil. We want a church that will, amen, live the life that Jesus has called them to live. That's what God wants. Chapter 2, verse, getting at verse 11 of Titus 2. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exalt. And rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Hallelujah. Subject today is spiritual holiness. And I'll talk about five minutes and we'll take it up next time. Spiritual holiness. He says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying of godliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly. Soberly. Denying ourselves and ungodly worldliness, we should live soberly, righteously, yes. and godly yes. in this present world. Spiritual holiness. It is by the grace of God. 
mm. that brought us salvation. Yes. He brought us unmerited favor. Yes. Yes. Something you did not work for. Mm. You did not labor for. Mm. Folks say, well, I labor around the altar to get the Holy Ghost. That's not the labor he's talking about. Jesus paid it all. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long to him I owe. Yeah. And God saying unto us, he has brought salvation. It appeared unto all men. The salvation that blesses us gives us favor with God. Not because of what we have done. Not because of who we knew. Right. Not because of faith was downtown. Amen. But Jesus Christ yes. gave us faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He gave us faith yes. and blessed us and delivered us yes. from all of our sins. Yes. Gave us eternal glory. Eternal life. He gave us something that the world could not give. The Lord is just not giving you things that you can get in the world physically yourselves. That's not why he came. But he came that we'd have life and life more abundantly. He came and set up hospitals. Hallelujah. So every sick person, every sin person, every person who couldn't help themselves, couldn't do for themselves, God said, I came with spiritual wholeness. I came to give you everything you need that you can live right. Praise the Lord. How many of you tried to live right before you got the Holy Ghost? Praise the Lord. Some of you still ain't living right. <laughs> How many tried to do it before you got saved? Could you do it? Did you last? I've tried it. But the devil comes along when you say, I'm going to give it my best shot. The devil sneaks up and blindsides you. Before you know it, you've done something again that you had said you wasn't going to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But Paul is saying to his young son, Timothy, now we have the power and the wholeness of God and the Holy Spirit. Now we can do what God has commanded us to do. He said, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. Hallelujah. We should live soberly. We can live right. right. We don't have to live like a drunk man. Come on now. Pray for anything like to swim out your mouth. Yes. You like to do things, pray Lord, that you would never do when you were sober. Now y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. Some of y'all have experienced it. Pray the Lord, a man that's a man that's intoxicated. He can't do all the things that he knows he should do. Because yes. he loses some self-control. Yeah. Hallelujah. He loses his ability, praise the Lord, to do what's right because he becomes in, 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 bring, bring, what's that mean? Yeah. Become drunk. <laughs> Don't know what he's going to do. How do you like to jump in the car? He's going to kill somebody. <laughs> and even himself. Because he don't have self-control. The Lord said, not we've been taught by the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord that we ought to deny these unworthy lusts. We ought to put down these things that cause us to trip up. Praise the Lord. And cause us to fall. But he's saying to us today, because you're saved, he's taught you to, amen, these worthy things. You don't need all these words to say. Folks are teaching you how to get rich. Teaching you how to scheme. Teaching you how to get this and get that. But all you need yeah, yeah. is favor with God. Yeah, yeah. All you need is the touch of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. All you need is God to say, I'm on your side. Yeah. Praise the Lord. When God is on your side, the enemy has to fight up. Oh, hallelujah. So it says in here in this verse, we should live soberly. Holy. Hallelujah. It's 
Bible said it was against the spirit. Yeah. And the spirit against the flesh. Because the flesh don't want you to do what God That's right. has commanded you to do. The devil will send you the wrong way every time. He'll put up roadblocks, detour signs. Before you know it, you're going down the wrong street. Going down a one-way street. Praying or in the wrong direction. Satan seeks to kill, to steal, to destroy everything that God has put together. Don't you let the devil take away from you what God has given you. He's given you holiness. He's given you righteousness. He's given you peace. Christ is all of us. So you ought to live soberly. Live like God's in you. Walk now. We got the master on the Lord. Yeah, Lord, hallelujah. You got to walk like you know something. You ever been somewhere and you didn't know where you were going? Praise the Lord. You walked all scared and all that. You know, somebody will say, no, you don't go on down here. You're going to point yourself out. He said, let's, let's take care of it. Let's ride. You got no business on this road. All right. But when you walk down there, like you know what you're doing. No, no, no. Like you're ready to do something to me. You know you're scared. <laughs> but you got to have confidence. You got to know who it is that got you on the road. Road to holiness and sanctification. Jesus had called me with the holy calling. I didn't get on this road by myself. I tried to get on it, but I couldn't get on it. But Jesus came and he died for my sin. Jesus came and he lifted me. Jesus came and he brought me out. Stand on your feet and tell it thank you. Thank you.